is an opportunity to learn alongside getting uh, useful workplace experience. Uh, it's the opportunity to learn how to network, have new experiences that you wouldn't have as a traditional member of staff, and to just gain some really good on-the-job on knowledge. Working, learning and earning all at the same time, so it's gaining the experiential side of things, which is the 80%, and then the theoretical side of things, which is the 20%. I think I have received the most incredible training as part of my apprenticeship so far um, and I wouldn't have been able to access that any other way um, but also I'm really enjoying the actual studying that I'm doing um, and particularly the work with the ch with children that I've been able to start. Personally I think I get a lot out of the going to university and going to lectures and those uh, kind of theories and the things I'm learning about uh, putting that into practice and comparing that with uh, I suppose real real life situations and the reality uh, and comparing and contrasting that's probably probably the most I get out of that. The most rewarding aspect of being an apprentice I think is feeling that I'm extending what I already know and being able to practice it in a safe environment and I've been able to take on new projects and expand growth within the team and I've framed it around the apprenticeship work I'm doing on the, the course. So yeah, extending learning I think has been the biggest growth for me. Yes, so just prior to starting the apprenticeship I completed a Masters in Positive Applied Psychology and Coaching Psychology. Prior to that I had completed a psychology degree and done a few kind of coaching and mentoring qualifications alongside that. I don't have any further qualifications, I came um, straight out of college into the workforce, um, worked in retail for a while and then decided actually I would like a career and I would like to get some qualifications and so came to an apprenticeship at West Sussex. So the qualifications that I have done previously include a degree in health and social care, I've got a teaching qualification, I've got other postgraduate qualifications in public health and teaching. I'm quite obsessed with learning, so the apprenticeship was a really good way for me to do something that's different to what I've done before. Um, yeah, I think I definitely would. It's, this, it's, a, it's a great way to be able to develop your skills and understanding and then further my um, progress within the working world. Yes. I would. <laughs> and I'm actually thinking about potentially the next apprenticeship that I might want to do. Um, also, learning how to be a play therapist, I've had, I have received the most incredible training. I'm halfway through my training, so I'm halfway through that therapeutic journey, so I've learned a lot about myself um, and I've learned a completely new skill set a link to working with children that's totally different from education, so that's been amazing. Personally, uh, the kind of levels of personal resilience and determination uh, when it comes up to assignments, handing in coursework, that type of thing, you have to really dig deep and, and kind of uh, make, meet those deadlines. I've got a young family as well, so juggling things away from work and, and the apprenticeship is quite difficult at times. I suppose professionally, I've really started to notice uh, more confidence and you know, kind of confidence in my own ability to be able to apply some of the learning into my role. The Senior Leadership Apprenticeship has encouraged me to reflect on myself as a leader and manager, my style, my strengths, my areas for development, and I've been able to really focus my learning around those development areas and then pass on knowledge to other people as well. So I have actually finished my apprenticeship. I completed it a couple of months ago and I'm going on to do a degree apprenticeship in project management. Immediately, I'm going to chill out for a bit <laughs> and just do my job. Um, uh, and then, I, yeah, I, I mentioned that I'm thinking about potentially another apprenticeship that I might be able to undertake. I want to uh, do another apprenticeship, but at a higher level. So potentially maybe a CPID level five, maybe. But I have to look at the options and assess which one was, which will be best. It is a fantastic opportunity. Highly recommend it. Um, especially apprenticeships with West Sussex, um, they really, really foster growth and encourage um, further learning, personal development. It's a really good opportunity to learn skills whilst getting valuable work experience. I would say a great way of, again, of learning whilst, whilst working, but also being realistic about what your commitments are like. So 
I have a small family, manage a football team, which is like a part-time job. So being able to juggle all the things you're already committed to in your personal life with your professional life um, has to be a really honest conversation between your employer, your, your boss and yourselves and perhaps anyone else affected by your journey. So. It's been very interesting. Probably fulfilling. Empowering. Enriching. Fulfilling. Experiential. <laughs> I'm going to go with all.